Hello there. Well, today uh, Barry Peckham and myself uh, we've headed off to a pond in the New Forest. Uh, it's fairly remote. We actually took our bicycles because it we, we didn't want to spend too long walking. Um, and we wanted to get there because we're, we're just painting in the morning. Now Barry came here a few days ago and he's drawn his painting out uh, which gives him a pretty good start and he's, he's very experienced at uh, plein air painting. Now we've got a bit of blue sky at the moment but uh, the, the wind is getting up and the, behind us there are a lot of clouds um, so we've got to work quite fast. You can see the wind blowing the canvas about a bit. Anyway, I, I think I've got a bit of the sky in before it uh, changes. Not the ideal day now, it, it's uh, sort of closing in, but we've got a bit of memory uh, of what it was like when we arrived. Barry's very experienced. You can see he's actually drawn a pony uh, in the foreground. He'll probably work on that when he gets home in the studio. You see it's coming on really nicely. It's quite a nice shape, that long shape. Anyway, um, you can see uh, where we're painting. It's uh, There's a little bit of a hill behind us. Well, I've made a little bit more progress with the painting, uh, but this is about as far as I can get out here. We're going to have to head home soon. Well, back in the studio, uh, it was very windy this morning. It made it difficult to paint, and I'm afraid the light wasn't very good. But that's, uh, and I got a puncture as well. We, we went there cycling uh, because it was quite a long way from a car park. Uh, so we took our bikes and uh, we could, took our gear. Otherwise, we'd have spent too long walking there. But anyway, this is my effort at the moment. I haven't touched it since I brought it back, but um, I've just stuck a frame around it, which is not quite the right frame for the picture. But uh, it does show you uh, that it's not a too bad a little picture. I thought I'd show you my pochard box or painting box. It all lives in a little rucksack like that a few other things in there like the white spirit i might use and uh, a few of the rags and anything that i might need and some spare uh, boards for painting on now i made this myself uh, the idea is to try and make something as light as possible um, the, the the sliding lid is the palette and I usually put a, a one of the old rags over it so that it uh, holds the things down, stops them rattling. This compartment here is full of brushes. And then there's the paints. I usually put in uh, tubes that I've used uh, so that they're a bit smaller because they're sort of a quarter of the paint left in them. And they, they don't fill out the box too much. This particular box... I've got a, a piece that slides out and I put my white spirit in there and there's a magnet there which grips that like that and it holds it firmly. I can put the white spirit in there. Uh, any linseed oil I put in this little container here which um, is uh, the linseed oil is in there. Sometimes you need linseed oil and that would fit on there. And there's some holes here where I can uh, support the brushes and this is the arrangement I've got here I used I like to have my canvas a little higher up so it's quite easy to put it away springs out the way that board would then go at the back in the second groove which I'll show you it comes off there and if this was a painted canvas, uh, and of course oil takes a little while to dry, I would slide that in the back there. That is secure in there. Then this can go back into here. Folds right down. I would uh, close that. 
and what I haven't shown you is beneath the box uh, that is a fitting uh, to go on a camera tripod well that give you a little bit of an idea of uh, my painting box and that can all go away into the bag doesn't weigh too much anyway I uh, hope you enjoyed that short video and a trip out to the forest and uh, if you did please click a like and maybe subscribe so you can see another video at a later time goodbye for now